Welcome back to the Green Means Go channel. It's your host, me. And very first thing I want to say is thank you guys. Um, I made a video last weekend where I talked about the sports betting content space and how I was just feeling overwhelmed. And there were a ton of comments supporting me, thanking me, encouraging me. And while my purpose of that video was not to just get a bunch of reactions and people patting me on the back, uh, it did help. So thank you guys for continuing to support me, continuing to encourage me. It, 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 you know, sometimes you do this over and over and over and you don't see a lot of, uh, you know, what you want to see, I guess. And so to hear you guys come out and say thank you and to, and to share things you liked about this channel, it did help uh, continue to motivate me. So let's get after it. Monday Night Football promo preview. Uh, we got Bills and Jets tonight. Before we talk about that, I do want to direct your attention to this video that I worked hard on yesterday. I have not made it yet, but it's coming out soon. I was curious after watching Dak Prescott play horribly yesterday. If your QB, your team's QB is worth the price because he is the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. So what did I do? I went through and I charted all of the NFL player salaries for this year, and then I made this chart to place them on based on how good they are, how bad they are in terms of this season, and then how much uh, money they're owed versus how least money they're owed. I then charted all the players out, and then I ranked them on this scale. So I plan to drop that at 7 p.m. tonight. That's the goal. Uh, don't hold me to it. When my wife gets home is when I'll be able to record. So hopefully she doesn't want to go to like a, a park or something. Uh, go on a walk. Uh, uh, we'll see. So tonight we do have Bills and Jets. This should be a fantastic game. I am excited for it. it. It should be better than last night's game, which was kind of abysmal. Earlier in the week on Wednesday, I said Bills minus two and a half was an extra most bestest pick of the week. And the over is also a play I liked. Guys, this is not good. This, first of all, this week was not good. This was my worst week of picks thus far, all right? So I'll take my medicine there, accept that. But the line has moved in the opposite direction. Now, the I mean, the okay news is, is two a key number? Is, is, is one a key number, right? Like, it may not end up being the biggest deal. Buffalo is still the favorite, but it is only one. So we lost one and a half points uh, in the opposite direction. We got anti-closing line value which is never something I want to give on this channel. So uh, that's not great. Hopefully the Bills can still cover uh, minus two and a half because that is how my play is being tracked. We'll see what happens, all right? So last week, we had our first completely losing week of Monday Night Football. Uh, we're still up, so it's okay. Uh, our closest one, which was, which was our highest unit play, was very frustrating. Uh, these two picks hit, but we had Saints plus 10 and a half. They lost by 13. So if I could have just teased that up to 14 and a half, uh, got over that other key number, we would have been fine. I thought their defense would play better. They just simply did not. So tough week, but overall we are still up 34 and a half units with 70 free bets earned. So that feels good, even though we are three and 12, right? These are high risk, high reward because most of the Monday Night Football promos are based on profit boosts and parlays. So tonight we have our typical on FanDuel. I also am going to give a bonus play, an MLB parlay at the end for the postseason matchup between the Guardians and the Yankees. So make sure you stay till the end of the video for that. DraftKings are typical three-leg same-game parlay. And then ESPN Bet is continuing to bring the heat with three different promos. First touchdown insurance where you can risk up to $40 and get $20 back if they don't score the first touchdown. A 20% parlay boost and then a 100% parlay boost. The best, well, probably the best promotion across all sports books on Monday night. So just looking at how these teams perform, this is a chart I make in terms of the touchdowns that teams score and allow. We have a really good offense against a really good defense, and then we have an okay offense against an okay defense. So it should be a very even matchup tonight. As far as first touchdown goes, I don't have a lot of angles. I uh, will give out some suggestions, and I pick a guy from each team because I don't have a true solid lean on who's scoring first. Something that's interesting to me is the Buffalo's defense. Uh, Buffalo Bills defense gets better as the game goes on. Five in the first quarter, three in the second quarter, two in the third quarter, and the Bills defense has not allowed a fourth quarter touchdown all year, which is pretty remarkable. The Jets are even as the game goes on. Um, so what's also interesting is that the Jets offense is the exact opposite. They get better as the game goes on, except for the fourth quarter. So uh, we may be in for a slow, hard fought defensive battle, which I don't want to see, but 
it may be the case. So tonight on FanDuel, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk, and I'm going to tell you right here first, before we even look at this chaos, okay, which is paying over $600 on a $10 bet, this is what I feel comfortable playing. I'm not saying this is a smart or EV bet, but I think heavy attention is going to be on Brees Hall and Garrett Wilson tonight. So I am going to kind of target some other guys. I'm going to also use reverse correlation to try to get an added boost. I still think the Bills can win this game. I think they're. I think both of these teams are kind of in a must-win spot. Um, I know every game is probably a must-win game for for NFL teams, but uh, I, I think the Bills have a little bit more to play for. The Jets have been through a lot this week with losing their coach, but who knows? That may motivate them. I digress. Buffalo Bills money line is what I'll take, and then I'm going to take two Jets. Uh, touchdown scores. I think the Bills will be able to crack the Jets defense, which has not been cracked all year, and they'll put up enough points to win the game. And they'll overcome this two touchdown hole I've already put them in. Alan Lazard has eight red zone targets to Wilson's nine. In other words, when they're inside the 20, he is getting looked at by Aaron Rodgers. So we'll take him to score. We'll also take Mike Williams to score. Big target, uh, not necessarily a guy that they've had in the red zone, but he's been injured. So I'll take both of the receivers, not named Garrett Wilson for the Jets to score, and the Bills bills to win the game. A $10 wager plays six, pays 600. So, you know, a couple of options here. An alternate thing you can do if you like kind of the idea, but that's a little too risky. Maybe you take Bill's money line, Lazard touchdown, and then you take what I call a dummy leg. Now, dummy legs can still miss, but maybe this is like a uh, Bill's plus 28 and a half or a Jets plus 28 and a half or an under 65. Like, Take something that has like a 90% chance of hitting and just add that in there because it has to be three legs. Uh, the other thing I will say is let's say we, we're in a world where Lazard and Mike Williams score and it's the fourth quarter and the game is tied and these two guys have already scored. I am not above putting a few bucks on the Jets money line, okay? If we get to a place where it's where it's 21-21 in the fourth quarter and Alan Lazard and Mike Williams have both scored and the Jets money line is, is minus 110, maybe I put 200 bucks on it walk away with 200 bucks. Okay. Roughly. So, uh, it's just, it's just an idea. I, I, I am, I'm always a proponent of hedging if the situation calls for it. And when a, we got a big payout like that, I think it, it, it's a fair, it's a fair time to hedge. As for DraftKings, I'm going to track this at $10. When I went to submit it this morning, my limit was 525, but usually within an hour of the kickoff, I can get the full 10 down. We'll go Braylon Allen touchdown. The Bills are a little bit weaker at defending the run, so we'll we'll see if the second string guy, Braylon Allen, can score a touchdown here. He has been involved in the offense. Allen Lazard, 40 receiving yards. He is getting a lot of targets, and then Bills plus 13. Uh, $10 wager would pay 118. So uh, we'll track that as an official play. And then finally for ESPN bet, uh, I was tempted to do some touchdown scorers, but because of how defensive this game could get, I'm going to give this as the official play instead. I'm all over Lazard tonight. He appears in all three official plays, which may come back to bite me if he's like Olave and gets a concussion in the first quarter. Because how many parlays, how many bets, how many wagers, how many boosts did I put Olave in? Because in an interview this week, Spencer Rattler said, oh, Olave is very talented. I'm going to get him the ball so much. He'll be targeted 100 million times. He is a fantastic player. Concussion, first quarter. Unbelievable. That's what happens can't be upset got to move on so Lazard four receptions Mike Williams 30 receiving yards and I think the coverage may be something that Josh Allen struggles to find receivers with and therefore he is scrambling out of the pocket a lot so I like him to rush for 30 yards a $20 bet pays 220 profit 240 total so this three leg parlay uh, you know this I like it okay so we'll lock that in as an official play for two units as for the first touchdown insurance, I'm not going to give out an official play right now, but I will give out three suggestions. I will probably play these guys um, in some fashion, but I'm not going to track it as a four-unit play because I just think it kind of skews the data a little bit. Brees Hall, 450, very chalky, I understand. Alan Lazard, 12 to 1, and Josh Allen, 6.5 to 1 would be my top three suggestions for that. So here are all my official plays for this evening and this game. Hopefully it is higher scoring than the total suggests at 40 and a half. I do like the over. I think both of these teams have a lot to play for, and I think the offenses both find some momentum. Here's the bonus play that I did say was coming. We got a Yankees and Guardians matchup tonight, and I think as far as the pitching goes, there is a huge, huge discrepancy in both of these starters. Alex Cobb has been seen by this Yankees lineup a ton. I mean, these guys have double-digit uh, plate appearances against Alex Cobb because he used to play for San Francisco, and they saw him a lot. So 
I'm going to take the Yankees to win and win convincingly. We're going to have them minus one and a half on the run line and scoring at least four runs. And then Carlos Rodon is a lefty. A lot of Cleveland's strengths are in their left-handed bats. And I think a left-on-left matchup is advantage Yankees. Now, they went out and got Lane Thomas because they needed a power righty. They needed a righty bat. And so that's been good for them. But one guy is not going to change <laughs> change my mind here. I, I contemplated going eight. You can get eight at plus 500. I played it safe. I moved it down to seven at plus 260. You can play eight if you're feeling risky. But uh, Rodon, seven. Yankees to score four runs and win by two is my... Uh, Official play that's not going to be tracked officially if you are looking for an MLB bet. So again, guys, if everyone who watches this sends this to a buddy who they knew lost money this weekend betting the ridiculous league that is the NFL and says, hey, this guy, he covers Monday Night Football. He covers all kinds of things. You should check him out. You send this to one of your buddies in your fantasy football league in your in your betting group chat. And you say, check this guy out. This video could get a thousand views and I can make five bucks. I mean, are you serious? Five bucks? That, that pay for my, pay for something. Just share it if you don't mind and like it and comment. Okay, here are some other ways to support me if you feel so inclined. I have a video that comes out every single day for this NFL season, so make sure you check those out. Thank you guys. Remember to watch this tonight when it comes out also at 7 p.m. Um, and we'll be good to go. So we will see you tomorrow for our NFL rankings video.